Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Rugged Medicine YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about doing a Mayday radio call such as you would do when you're working as an expedition medic, as somebody on a vessel, as an offshore medic or if you're just having some fun on a powerboat and you want to be prepared how to do an emergency Mayday radio call. So what is a Mayday call? Well, a Mayday call is the international name for a distress call that you would call out via radio. And it's actually only intended for use in situations where life is in imminent danger aboard an aircraft or onboard a ship. Now today we're going to simply look at the maritime version, which in terms of its procedure is the same as on an aircraft, but we're going to focus on the maritime aspect. When you're doing the Mayday message at sea, you have to follow particular steps. Now, the steps I'm going to describe today apply to so-called non-DSC radios. In other words, some radios have digital selective calling, DSC, where you have a red button with a toggle or a cover over it that you can hold, then it will alert an emergency sound transmitter signal, and then only would you actually do your Mayday call. Now, we're going to skip those steps of a digital selective calling radio and go straight into a regular Mayday call at sea. So switch the radio on if it's not already on and select channel 16, the International Distress and Emergency Channel. Most radios or all radios actually should have a button that's labeled 16, channel 16 or similar. Once you've selected it, you've got the volume up to make sure you can hear any replies. You then press the so-called PTT, the push to talk button, and you will then format a message according to the following template. Initial three times, Mayday, 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 this is, followed by your boat name three times. That is then followed by your call sign, the registered call sign, which should be positioned on the radio, next to the radio, or somewhere else within the wheelhouse, within the cockpit, whatever you would like to call it. It's a combination of letters and numbers. There is also an MMSI number, which is a nine digit number that is assigned to vessels and that will help the receiver identify which vessel it is, what size, where it is based, the capacity and so forth. You then follow it again by Mayday a single time, followed by your boat name, the call sign and the MMSI number. You then declare the position. Now that can either be your coordinates from your GPS or it can be a description according to your location, how far from a particular landmark, in what position, in what area. You also want to declare the number of people on board and the nature of the problem, such as do you have a fire on board? Is your vessel sinking? Is somebody having a heart attack? Did somebody fall overboard? Or whatever the nature of the business is. Then followed by over, you then listen for replies. If you haven't heard a reply, you're just going to repeat the single procedure again, as you just saw above here and so forth. Now, what's important about doing a Mayday call in any emergency equipment? you need to be sure you actually know how to use the kit before the time comes. So please see that you can have a look at the radio. You will probably see it when you're standing there talking to whoever's at the helm, whoever's in charge of the vessel. If you don't know how it works, crew will gladly explain to you how it works. You can also look at the manual online or have a look at a YouTube video similar where it demonstrates a particular radio. There is a Mayday procedure that I just took you through as an example. You can buy that as a printed card. Some cockpits of vessels have that or bridge or wheelhouse will have a sticker next to the radio with all the details pre-completed so you can just read it off. The important thing is that you need to speak at a normal pace, speak very clearly. Don't shout into the microphone just because it's noisy where you are because that can distort your message so much that the receiver can't actually hear it. You always want to spell out call signs and names if need be as well with the phonetic alphabet because so many things can sound the same if just being spelled out. And the best thing to do, of course, is attend a safety course such as a radio course so that you know how to do this properly and have had a chance to practice this. Now, here is an example of a Mayday call that I'm going to take you through. And uh, this is about a motor vessel called Nomad with an imaginary call sign and imaginary MMSI number. And uh, I'm just going to read this and speak it how it would be. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is motor vessel Nomad, Nomad, Nomad. Call sign Lima, Hotel 27, Charlie, Whiskey. MMSI number 22341863969. Mayday, this is Nomad, Lima, Hotel 27, Charlie, Whiskey. 
MMSI 223418639. My position is four nautical miles east of Swanage Pier. We have four people on board. We are taking on water, preparing to abandon ship. Over. If you hear no response, repeat this message. Obviously, if you have to abandon ship because it is too unsafe to send this again, that will have to take priority. But you want to make sure you repeat this call and you acknowledge if somebody is giving you any feedback, any vessel close by asking for further information, make sure that you respond to those questions.